being the fan of Ted Danson that I am, I recently watched Three Men and a Baby. And I have to say, while it was all right, I didn't like it as much as I expected I would. But still being a big fan of Ted Danson, I decided to watch the sequel, Three Men and a Little Lady, which was out in 1990. And I have to say, I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought it was a lot better. Not only was it better, but I, I genuinely loved it. I had a lot of fun with this film. This was released, as I said, in 1990, directed by Emile Ardolino and stars the usual fabulous cast of Ted Danson, Tom Selleck and Steve Gutenberg. I feel like Steve Gutenberg took a bit of a back seat in this one. He is in it, but he was never really the centre of attention, whereas Tom Selleck and Ted Danson's characters had a bit more of an important role to play. With this film, Mary is now five or six and... To begin with, the three men are living together with Mary's mother, uh, with Sylvia, and things seem to be going all right. But Sylvia realises that it's not enough and she wants to think of her future. She wants to get married. She wants to have more children. And then she meets somebody. And this means that she has to then move back to England with Mary and, of course, leaving Mary's three father figures behind Nobody seems to be really happy with this arrangement. And to begin with, it looks like the film is going to be about how they're all going to learn to cope with their new lives. But actually, it's all about our three men trying to do what's best for Mary, even if that means trying to get her back to America. And there's some pretty brilliant character development for Peter Tom Selleck's character, I think he goes on a really great journey with this and he's an absolute delight um, to watch. Of course he is, it's Tom, it's Tom Selleck, but I really like the character. It added a, a much more emotional dimension to it rather than just giddy humour. Then of course we have Jack, played by Ted Danson, who is the source of that, that giddy, silly humour. Because he plays an actor, he often shows up in all kinds of weird costumes and... He has a pretty interesting role to play in this as well. I loved all, all three of them. Michael as well, uh, Steve Gutenberg's character. And Edward Christopher Sazanove, um, I hope I pronounced that correctly, was a love-to-hate character. He definitely didn't care for Mary the way her three other fathers did. And he was certainly an interesting one. Really pleased to see Fiona Shaw in this. She played Miss Lomax. I really like her. I, I didn't realise when I started watching this that a lot of this was set in England. So that is something that I really liked and I really found very enjoyable with this. I cannot fault it. I genuinely adored it and thought it was brilliant. And a very, very strong contrast to the kind of humour in the first film. Of course, massive credit needs to go to Robin Wiseman, who plays Mary brilliant little actress she was a joy to watch my favorite scenes all included her um, and the way she interacted with everybody was just, just really good fun if you've seen the first film and didn't really like it definitely still give the sequel a try i i think it's it's a lot of fun it's brilliant it's definitely different and i think maybe there are people who loved the first film who maybe didn't like the second film as much which is fair enough but for me Three Men and a Little Lady. It's absolutely a film that I thought was a complete joy and I'm ridiculously happy to recommend it.